Hey guys, it is Crystal here with Art It Out, and look at this explosion of color on my desk. We are going to talk about which water soluble um, is for you, or is it the more crown type? Is it the more maybe lipsticky looking type? <laughs> We're going to go through all these, and I'm going to show you the differences between these. What um, I found what I like and what maybe you will like and hopefully by the end of the video you'll know um, be a little more informed where you don't have to waste your money and buy them all trying to search for what works for you or maybe you have somebody on a holiday list that likes to art and you're not sure what to get them this might help you in that aspect too or if you're like me you just like to watch these type of videos because I'm always wanting more information I just do um, an informed buyer that's, that's me anywho let's have some fun we have a lot here guys let's start it out we are going to go over what these are and we're gonna do some comparisons or kind of just show you what it is um, and find out which one's for you all right let's start her off we have hmm I put them out here for I could show you what we have um, normally I don't keep my stuff like this I keep we're gonna go through this let's do it let's do it let's do it blah 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 we have off I think we're gonna start with this area we're gonna do some swatches and I'm gonna show you the difference between them also so what we have here are the fabric Castells watercolor crowns is what they call these I got this set at Hobby Lobby for, it literally was like two bucks, guys. <laughs> um, they are triangle-ish, if you can kind of see that. They are triangle-ish. They're not pointy on the side, so that's why I'm saying ish. As you can see, I have broken quite three, four, four of them. These are very, very soft. Um... It comes in just like a uh, cardboard packaging, nothing fancy. These are, you get 15. It's the only set they have. They don't have any more as of now um, for like 13 bucks. 12 34 is what they're going for right now on Amazon. And like I said, those are called watercolor crowns. So let's keep moving. Neo Color 2s is a big one. Um, that everybody likes. I do have the 10. This I bought the 10 cent because 10 set, excuse me. It sounds like it's a 10 cent. <laughs> I got the 10 set. And these are water soluble wax pestles, what they call theirs. These are more pricey, which is the reason why I just got a little set of 10 and I wanted to try them out. I'm glad I didn't um, buy the big expensive set. But that's here, no here, and I'll talk about that later. So they normally look like that. I'm going to put these back where I, they were at because I keep all these together in an um, area, and I'll explain to you why I do that. All right, next, this was the Neo Colors. We're going to put those in there. Those are more, uh, well, we'll go away. That tin set is, if you look when it be like this, it's a nice tin. I do like their tin. And I like that they come with, I got it upside down, I think I pulled it off or something. Mm -hmm. A little piece of foam in there, so they don't get broke, so they don't um, the break them, you know. These 10 cents, it's really cheap actually right now, um, and Amazon is $16.62. Um, that is just a 10 set, it's a cheap set. Um, they go way up and they have several, several sets. I don't know exactly how many, um, ones they do have, but there are a few. So, next is, these are Jane Davenport's Aqua Pastels, is what she called hers. Aqua Pastels. It, the thing looks like this, don't mind that, is what it came in. Um, I've got some ink tints in here right now. Um, and just a little, they each individually had a little spot to hold them. It was a pretty tin. Um, these are 1777. You get a set of 12. This is on Amazon, of course, guys. There's other places to buy. I'm just telling you what, you know, is available easily for me to look up. Um, I have broken a few of these. These are more like, in my opinion, like these wax pastels. She got these aqua pastels. 
Um, it's all in the... She has beautiful names for her things. They are all artist names. Um, they come with this weird waxy-ish on there. We'll get to that, though. Set of 12. She only has this one set. She has all kinds of other things. Um, and I did break a couple, so you can see those are the softer ones, too. Alright, next up in that kind of a category is Scribble Sticks by Jane Davenport. Or, I'm sorry, Diane Wakely. Um, here was her original 10, and here was her second set. She has three sets now, or four, I can't remember, three, I believe. Pretty sure it's three, because the third set's pastels and metallics, I think. I prefer the first 10 to the second. This one is thicker, and I don't know, it just, I don't know, I just like this one better. You get 12 in a 10. For right now, they're sixteen, eighteen, but they're normally around twenty dollars. I've seen is what you can. I mean, you can get them cheaper, but uh, pretty much anywhere is about twelve bucks. Like I said, three types. She calls hers water soluble pigments. As you heard that, these are heavy for a stick of as she calls pigments. They are really, really heavy. Um, I have used and used and used these, and you see, I haven't broken one. Man, these weigh. I just, I'm shocked at how much these do weigh. So normally this is how I carry these in my side. I have like iron sticks on top and the rest that we talked about on bottom. That's how normally I keep them. And we will, I will talk about why. <laughs> because these are all pretty much the same. Um, especially these down here. Um... Yeah, so we will talk about, we're going to beep, 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 but let's go through the rest of the things we're going to be talking about um, and playing with is woodies. No, we're not. We're not going to talk about that yet. Fabric Estelles, I think. Um, which are these? Are kind of all on their own. People kind of look at them thinking they're just so different, you know, because they don't look, they don't look like the Distress Crown. They don't look like... Mm, not really, but kind of the art crown. This was before the art crown, guys. This was before this scribble stick. Um, when I did my video before, and it will be up there for you guys can go check it out. Because I do, like I say, actually compare some other different products than I am today. Fabric Castell are, um, remember we talked about over here, Fabric Castell, there was those water soluble crowns. These are gelatos and they come in plastic uh, sets um, 28 cost 45.05 on Prime right now it's around when I, when I first purchased these the 28 set was like 65 I think you guys know me I accumulated these with coupons and coupon buying at Hobby Lobby and Michaels um, my hubby did end up buying like one set for me for Holidays and things like that. Um, so they're kind of pricey. Most sets, uh, like the iridescent set, which I do have, was the last one I bought, which is just super pretty and fun. Um, for a set of 15, they're right now, it's actually got a good deal. It's 15, like 15.40 on Amazon. So yes, if you never, you've heard about Gelaros, but you don't see them used much, I will talk about them and yeah. Why they're not my yay one now? It's not. I barely use these to the point I'm actually get, thinking about getting rid of them because I don't. Okay. Next. These, they don't ever, I think they called these, I don't have the packaging anymore. Um, it's, it, they say a water soluble crown, I think is what they said, it or, or gel like thing. Um, next we have, of course, everybody, I think, anybody that's in the, the knows Distress Crowns. I do not have a whole lot of them. They weren't my favorites. Um, but I do have some, because I like their color choices. Between Because when I was using these, I was kind of having a rough time with them where I was going with my art. These, I've had these for, for years, a few years, guys. And I evolved. So... <laughs> But the Distress Crown did have a better selection of colors, and they're deeper colors than the Fabric Estelle. 
So that's why you see a little bit more probably than last time. Um, next is, and I have fallen in, really, really like our Art Crowns by Mal Marabou Art Crowns Mixed Media is what it says. These come in, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you about the Distress Crown. Most people know, so I, don't, I kind of go over those. Distress Crowns, they come in a pack of six, which are these. Um, and there, the packages are around 10 bucks anymore. Um, but I've seen them up to 13 14 dollars is their norm. 10 14 Um, there's, I think there's more than 10 sets now, but I know for sure there's 10 sets. So, that's quite a few colors. See, there's a lot. Um, I did see, they do have a few on Amazon that you can purchase these singly. Um, which is always nice, but there's only a few colors. I'm betting on their actual website. Rangers, you can probably get them separate. I know on, on Amazon, it's like about six bucks for one, guys. Um, Marabou. Here we go, what I was talking about. Marabou Art Crowns. Now, you're going to see, if you remember, we had Recollections. We had a, a some bunch of different ones like this. Um, and that's on the, the other video. I do not have them anymore. I actually got rid of any of the ones I had that were like this at Mr. Bentley. And I gave a few to a few uh, in Happy Mills. Um, Bentley. So, I was like pretty much out of it. And then I found and seen these. And I actually got a hold of some and tried. Um, because through clearance um, at... Mm, Hobby Lobby last year, year before? I don't. Last year, yeah. So, uh, Marabou Art Crowns. They say Art Crown. Okay. That's a Distress Crown. So, we got the crown going on. You get sets of four of these. They are big hunkers. <laughs> from, I got it from $9.65 to like $13.20, guys. It depends on the, the set. Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Shark gets excited. <laughs> All right, we're talking about the Maribou Art Crown. Sits of four, nine to thirteen on the sits. They do have them. You can buy them separately. I found all their colors um, and more actually on Amazon for like about five bucks. I do know Michaels has them. You can buy separately in there, and then you could use a coupon on. They do not have all the colors. They had a good selection. I have more. I have some more over here. Um, I, they have a lot more other colors. But I only bought on here the ones that I would, that I know I would use. I didn't buy a bunch of the packs because I, there were colors that I know I wouldn't use. So, I'm trying to do that. <laughs> all right. The last, but of the of the water soluble items, <laughs> are woodies. Three in one multimedia watercolor pencils. How they put them. If you guys have been been watching most YouTubers that are artists or in art journaling, I can't find my little Stabello all pencil right now because I don't know where it's at. Uh, kind of cool. Here it is. Oh, mine's really little right now. I need to get my new one out, but I use it until I can't anymore. I love it. Well, they came out with these. I guess these are supposed to be for kids. <laughs> um, that's how they market them. I actually have the this set. My first set I bought was ten, and that's the the only set that I found at the time when I got these was a set of 10 for right now it's 1939 um, this is a set of 18 it comes like just like this and it is right now 39.98 and I also found one for 36.40 on Amazon I will say if you're going to get the set um, Save a little bit more and buy the bigger set because, as you can see, I only bought the 10. I recently, real recently, um, I sold a few things in my shop and I got these, um, 
got these four to use here. Uh, very nice. It comes in like this. Yes, they still have the original ten. You can kind of see what they would look like. Little one comes in much the same. It's just a smaller one. This big one you get a. Um, even the littler pack, and I still have this one. You get a specific sharpener for these because you're not going to be able to sharpen these with anything. Bentley, stop! Stop! Um, and I haven't even played with that. So I haven't decided if I want to put those together and just. I thought about putting like one in each and do some like art. Art. Um, anywho, I'm not going to go there with this. Um, I still have those because I wanted, you know. I wanted the rest of the colors, and the only way to buy them was to buy the big one. So, if you are going to do it, buy the big one. But, plus, on these, you can, um, i seen black and white, so these sold separately. That's it. Um, but, I didn't look everywhere. So, this is what we're going to go over today. We're going to, I'm going to show you what I am using, what I'm getting kind of rid of. I'm going to get rid of these, or at least I don't use them. Um, talk about how, what, which one of these will work for you guys. All right, let me get my paper out. Where, or where is it? I keep my woodies in a little bag on the side of my, hmm, over here. I love this. Uh, they are some of my favorites. I want to get the paper out for I can show you guys what I'm going to do here. We're going to use just a mixed media paper. 98 pounds. Um, that's a pretty normal mixed media paper grade. They of course have the higher ones, but hey. Why? <laughs> uh, so that's what we're going to use. I'm going to, um, I guess, put an, in the middle here, real quick. Like, we're going, I'm going to show you how these work uh, once again on gesso side and non gesso. We're going to gesso this side. I'm showing you me doing it at least partially that way. You believe me? Um, yes, believe me. Uh, I'm going to dry it up off camera and get everything organized, put aside for this video. Now, some products don't have to have gesso to work right. Some products that you better have gesso for them to work. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're going to see the differences here if you haven't yet. Otherwise, I'm going to, while we're doing that, I will talk about what I use now and the differences that I found. All right, guys, here we go. I figured we'd start off with the Jane Davenport. The Neocolor 2, Faber Castell, and then Scribble Stick first. Because I'm kind of putting these, if you notice, in two, two categories. Because for me, they are two categories. Um, so we're going to go through this, and this is how I'm going to do it. Now, I always like to, we're going to do, put a line for a pencil, for a pen, put a pen here, and then the marker up here. Okay. And I'm doing this because a lot of these are, they are, um, I can't even talk today, guys. I did it wrong. That's a pencil. Cute. See, now a perfect person would uh, switch it around, but I'm not. <laughs> pencil. There we go. Let's start the charade here. Now, I got the closest. I picked three colors for these. I've got the blue, I've got a magenta, and like a dark green. So, I'm just going to go up like this, 
start it out. One. Okay, I'm gonna go two. Yeah, I'm doing it just like this, guys. Let's go three. 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 Now the color's not going to be exact because, you know, different people make different, I don't have the exact colors of them. Okay, I went over those. Okay. I'm going to have to watch how I did it. Oh my goodness. I didn't know how I did it. Ah! Alright, I'm going to pause one second. Okay, guys, I got them in the order that I did them in. All right, now right off the bat, they've just been sitting here not very long. You can, okay, this is no. It's just plain old fingers, guys. Ugh. So you see, they really didn't move. Um, besides the fabric of still, one does have some more movement in it. Now let's take water on a brush. And I'm going to show, okay, we're just going to go up. That's two. Let me wash this out. That's going to take a while, guys. Okay, I'm going to go one, two. All right, now you can work with these and see, look. And bring them lighter. Show you this one. I'm just gonna do a little work on it here. All of these are about the same, which is why I have them all in my box. That is the Faber Castell. It is juicy. And that's Jane Danforth. I don't think Jane Danforth moves as much as some of the others. Um, but you can still get a beautiful... You can work those and have no um, leavings on the paper. If you understand what I mean. Um, like this one has a... Can end up maybe not... Uh, leaving a little bit of a line if you don't get it quick enough. Yes, I just said that if you don't get I'm going over them. See? None of these. You can still see all the lines for those. Their colors are spot on. They're fun. They're pretty. You know. Any of those are good. Um, let me show you on water or gesso. Okay, if you want to see like the colors themselves, um, I show more of that on the other video. So what I'm talking about is more mainly showing you what I like nowadays and what's kind of the same. See, those are beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's check these. Let's see how it moves. Without gesso, you're not getting... With gesso, you get more of a... You see that watercolor look with the... Um, your mixed media... Scribble sticks work great on things. In fact, they work really well on actual paint. Um, which is nice. Now you see you're going to get... You're getting a line. More of a line with... The Jane Davenport's and the Faber Castells with the gesso area. You can kind of see a residual line there. Um, a little bit, but nothing that's horrible. Beautiful. Well, oof, yummy. Fun. I really enjoy using all of these separately and differently. Let me show you... Um, I know I got like colors and all that out. Let's do the magenta ones real quick with these. I'm not going to go with the. This is Frida with Jane Davenport. 
Remember, it's not done. My point of this is to show you a little bit of how which ones are kind of the, pretty much the same thing. You really don't need to buy every set. Um, I picked two of these because I didn't know which one would work. I got magenta. Let's go with magenta. Mm, not quite as pink. I didn't end up using that one. Uh, no. Light, light, light. So, out of these, what what do I grab and which time? Why do I grab which ones of those? That's what I'm trying to say. Well, I keep them together, except for the scribble sticks I put on top in the little separation. And I do that because the scribble sticks and the rest of them, I think the scribble sticks don't quite do the same. Mm. They do the same, but they also react differently. Um, yeah. For my arting, unless I'm doing like a watercolor piece, or um, if I'm mainly working in my art journal where I'm literally using my paints, using this, using that, just going with it, I will grab these because the scribble sticks are, they're bright. So they're a lot brighter colors than... Um, they are brighter, in my opinion, because they are a pigment stick than the others that I have in this group. Not to say that they're not as pretty, but on top of things, on top of layers, on top of paint, scribble sticks work in this genre. Um, they do move, though. Make sure this is something towards the end, or if you don't care, if you're just, you know, it's going to be whatever you're writing, messy writing, things like that, um, because they do move. They're not permanent. None of these, none of these are. Um, I really don't use the Jane Davenport's. I really don't. When I go to grab underneath, it's usually my Neo Color 2's. Um... The Fabricastels and the Jane Davenport's. Fabricastels are fun to, without putting water on them, I do enjoy using them just to make marks because you get that good, yummy kind of crown look. Um, but I never grab my Jane Davenport's. I really don't, guys. Unless I'm doing a watercolor coloring, I will use some of these for other colors. But now that I'm getting more watercolors, I don't pull them out very much. Very much. I will pull out my these but not the others so that's where I'm at at that guys these really do work kind of the same um if you want to see more of I really get into that on the other video but this is what I use for mixed media writes over paint writes over mostly any everything uh the fabric of style I like using it to make marks with it um, but I don't even grab these much anymore because I have the woodies that, uh, do not really use Jane Davenport's. Um, I don't care for it. The get the color off them are hard. They break easily, at least for me. I may be heavy handed and I really love the Neo colors. Hands down are great. They're just pricey for me. Um, and I just don't gravitate to them. I like my scribble sticks. I like what I have. But I don't like it enough, as you can see, I only have two sets of the scribble sticks. Um, I haven't bought them the last set she put out, which is pastels and metallic. Uh, I'm really debating if I really want it. I'd probably just wait till I find it really, really, really cheap, literally like a couple dollars, and then I'll pick it up. It's not something that I'm screaming to get. Um, I will not. I would not buy the Jane Davenport's. It's not. They don't call to me. Um, the fabric has sold it. Like I said, I'm using them. I only got, I paid two bucks for them, so I wouldn't buy them full price if that's the answer. And the Neo Co two color sets, um, I don't have feel like I need to get. I don't feel like I need to. Um, all these kind of came out. I bought the Neo Color Twos because that's all there was at the time. Well, then everybody else started making their own type of water soluble crown like this um so that's why i have these i would have never bought this one if i would have had already these so 
there you go. My number one on there is the scribble sticks. There is my input on that. Now, what do we got next, right? You throw those in there. And you can get a wide range of colors with the scribble sticks in the Neo Color 2s. The Neo Color 2s, there are tons and tons and tons of colors of these. So if you're wanting one that has a lot of color choices, either one of those. The other ones are what you get what you get. All right, now let's go to what I'm really excited about is the, well, art crowns. <laughs> the art crown, the distress crown, um, the gelato. Those three kind of go together. Now I threw in a woody. I consider the woodies by themselves. Um... Since I bought and used these woodies, I very rarely jump into these. I like the size in my hand. I like, I, I love them. I love them. I will love the, these are good. I enjoy them, and that's what I use out of there. But with my next media, I am super enjoying these. And let me tell you, if these came out with more colors, I would buy them. But we'll get onto that in a second. Let's show you the distress crown the gelato, and the art crown. i explain to you why I don't. Um, necessarily would buy these again. Which ones I would buy, which ones I wouldn't. And just making marks. Alright, let's start it off with the good old, you all know, most of you probably have some distress crowns. Excuse me, guys. All right, guys. So, distress crowns. Um, these are juicy. <laughs> we'll go right here too. Um, I will tell you, I do know for sure those um work better. I know on that. So <laughs> let's do this. I'm gonna show you kind of separate. I'm just like. You're gonna get on the line. You're always gonna get see your line with the with the gelata or mm, distress crown. She works best on just so, but you're still gonna get some lines. I, I've seen it doesn't ever go away, guys. If that's one you're wanting to like go away, go away. It's not for you. Now, how I use these anymore is kind of like I use. How kind of how I use the art crowns is I, I make marks with them. Um, ooh, that's like really pinky pinky in it. <laughs> um, by making marks, you guys, if you've been with me, see me use those a lot. I'm more lately than I have a lot of things with my acrylic paint. They work on top of. I'm just going over them a couple times, move them around. You can see that one still will leave a little bit of tinge on a white gesso background, and it does leave on here. I use them on top of things, guys. I use them to layer because once these dry, they are semi permanent. And I say semi permanent because you're going to get a little movement from them, but you're not going to get rid of everything no matter what you do. So. I have really enjoyed using these for one way or the other, whether it's in these blend really good. You can see them blending over there um, to make marks, you know, make some marks. You spray a little water and you get this yummy, and it just kind of goes out. It looks like it's made on the paper. I just like it and I have fun with them. Now, let's go to the gelato. <laughs> If you watched the first video, you remember that I really enjoyed these. I liked them. Um, at the time, I liked them. <laughs> and it's just where I'm at, at with my art. These are very, they look really thick and yummy right here, but they're very uh, translucent on your thing. So a lot of people use these for... Uh, Bible journaling, they really kind of went towards that. Um, in my opinion, not so much a, a, if you're wanting a light color, thin, 
you guys are going to say, well, that looks looks thicker. It's on white. That's why. <laughs> um, for some reason, I'm, I'm heavy handed on that today. Uh, I just, this does not, you don't get very good layer of this when you're doing, um, when you're doing, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of the freaking word guys, I'm sorry, <laughs> when you're doing, when you're working on your pieces, um, I'm showing you how much, these can be moved a little bit, uh, your art crown moves quite a bit. Where's the distress room? Um, this is not going to move a lot. Okay, both of this one and this one you cannot layer with because it's gone. Um, doesn't work. The distress one, I it does. You can get some color and layers on other pieces. Let me see if I can get a piece here. Uh, that'll work. You can use and put them on, okay? They do work on painted. These are really painted surfaces at that. Let me show you there. Let me show you this. Another problem I have with the, for me, <laughs> the gelato is the, I, the tip, not the tip. It's, hmm, I don't know. It's just not one I grab. It is a lot. Um, it blends in. So you get it wet, it's gone. Okay, now this one, you get it wet. It's, it's You can still see it. I'm putting heavy-handed on the water, guys. So I'm showing you kind of the difference here. So the certain ones just don't work as good for me. I really go into these. I mean, I do a bunch of different things with them. Not these, but with the... Fabricastel. Um, these are older, so now that they're older, they are flaking off. When I do, if I do use them, the pieces come off, <laughs> making a mess. Um, so they've become actually messy. Uh, I just not. It's just not one I grab to. I have not a lot of luck with it. Um, next, let's go on to, like I said, the distress crown. I use some, I have these colors because it's just, uh, it's what I have. Um, I bought one set to try and I think somebody else gave me one. I don't remember, but I have them. So I'm trying to use them and I use them the way I do the art crowns. A lot of times that, you know, it's the coloring is not there. Um, but I love, love these art crowns. Um, they write nice over my... Um, art, my painted, my paints, and things like that. So, I know I was going to show you guys another color. Here's some green. There's that. Brush is probably getting pretty nasty. Let's see here. I'm gonna go really wet. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can see how those. I just like mushing them all together, huh? <laughs> um. So if you are more curious about the distress crowns. The fabric castells. I have some more art gel crown. Gel crowns is how they kind of call them. Um, they look similar to this. There's all kinds of different brands. Um, I had a few on the last video. I don't have those anymore, like I said, because I didn't use them. They're kind of like the fed the these, and just I wasn't using them. Um, not my. I just don't. They don't work well with my layering and the way I go with my art, but they have, and they're limited on their, you might say they, you might say they're not, but at the time, I think there's only one or two, one more set that's been out. Is there? I think maybe just one more set, and if it is, it's maybe 10 different colors. That's, that's it. That's all you get. Um, they have some very pretty... 
the way I actually use these is how, well, how I used to use them is they were great for like shadowing, giving that glow look yeah, because, because they are very, um, luminescent kind of, they give you that almost luminescent look, the shimmer. Um, I use those for that. So it's very small, not window, but small area that I actually do use these for it. Now on to you guys probably thought, well, what happened to the woodies? Weren't those in there? I have a problem putting those in there because they're kind of on, on their own. They are a great, here, let me write this, just in one line. We went over it, two, three. One, two, three. Um, I have so much fun with woodies. They do not really move at all with your finger. Um... They are very pigmented. They draw on top of, I don't think I've found anything they don't draw on top of. I mean, they even draw on plastic. Um, I thought I can draw on glass now. I wouldn't uh, wet it to, you know, make it water soluble. But, and the nice thing about the woodies, just like this by Stabilo and your woodies, after they're completely dry, they are partial permanent uh, more so than what I was talking about with the others but so these when you make marks they're gonna kind of stay where they're at um, they really are and right now I think I got 18 colors on this brand these woodies I think they only have uh, the 18 um, I hope they come out with more and like I said those are actually Targeted for kids. Go figure. I use them a lot to wet and then make them run and just yumminess. I have a lot of fun with them. So where would I put Woody's in all of this? It's just by itself. Um, if I was to put it with anything, it would not be. It would be more of a kind of. I'm gonna go with like the scribble sticks. But they're really not. They're not like a. They're not a distress crayon. They're not an art crayon. They really are on their own. Um, I use the woodies uh, more and more and more and more. Um, I have been enjoying my art crayons. Oh, I just threw that one. <laughs> you guys have seen me use woodies. You see me use these these uh, marabou art crayons. Those are the ones that I use more than more than the others so there you go guys um how woody shapes up and where it kind of lands in between there it doesn't it's by itself uh, whether you're a distress girl or a gelato girl or a sabello girl um these with these are similar. These are all similar. And there's a bunch of different brands of these. And these are all art crowns. Distress crown. Um, my one pick for those. If I pick one would be the art crowns. That's what I'm enjoying with those. I would not have paid for those. Because I just. They go away. I can't layer them. So it kind of sucks. If you do a lot of stamping and card making, you can have some fun with these. Um, I don't do a lot of that. But gelatos, not so much. If you're wanting a more light, kind of a very soft look, maybe not so edge or edging, maybe softer look, gelatos. I'm, like I said, pretty much, I'm, I won't buy any more gelatos. Um, I'm debating getting rid of what I have, or at least the majority of them. I just don't use them. They just take up space. Woodies, Woodies, Woodies is a yes. I think everybody should have them, just like I think everybody should have a Stabello pencil. And I told you guys, out of all of these, for me, it's Scribble Sticks. I very rarely grab these, except for, I will say, I do use fabric cells their skin tone, this one, and... The skin tone in Jane Dapper. Those I use a lot, but otherwise they pretty much sit there because when I go to use them, they break. 
<laughs> I'm a little too heavy handed with them. These are fun. So many things. I do a lot with them. But I don't think I will buy the other set. I hope this was maybe a little informative for you guys. Um, you know me. I, uh, I'm all over the place. <laughs> if you didn't catch the one before, it is a lot more in how each product works with certain things. Um, yeah. This one was mainly just what's in the grouping, what I, what I like, what I would suggest. And there you go. Happiness to you. Go make a mess and art it out. Bye, guys.